grading system. Um, and the system that I would like to introduce to you guys is um, it's called the New Student Ranking System, and I hope it will conv convince you all about this new system. In today's in today's world, the com competition amongst one another is fierce these days. Students all over the world, such as you and I, are busy fighting and trying hard to enroll ourselves into an Ivy League, having to take extra classes and keeping our ourselves occupied with activities and sports. It is a time for us all to be well prepared for our future. One of the most acknowledged organizations, College Board, signifies what is needed or recommended in, every, in order to get into an Ivy League. In today's society, it is very competitive. Haven't you ever thought about or want to go to an Ivy League? Don't you want success? Is it possible for students to benefit themselves and have more advantage of being able to get into an Ivy League? Here I am today to convince you that our school district of Upper Dublin should try a new system of grading us all. By all means, I think we should not be graded by our letter grades, but try a different way. Therefore, I think the school district of Upper Dublin should encounter using the student ranking system in the 2010-2011 school year. Specifically, this new system will be a great way for us all to benefit ourselves. With the use of the system, students' motivation for studying will increase, as well as competition among one another will increase, and will provide opportunities and show their achievements throughout the school year. Particularly, it will benefit students who deserve to earn the credits of how hard they work, as well as showing the advantage of their future. Now, many of you here today may not be fam familiar with the idea of student ranking system. Perhaps there may be some of you who have never even heard of this system before. The student ranking system is a ranking of students according to their academic grade point average, their GPA. Nowadays, it is something that is hard to be seen because not many schools use this system. This traditional system that was once used all around was also adopted into use at our school too. Due to unpleasant consequences and difficulties such as complaints and students struggling, we do not use it anymore. Although it is no longer in use, I think we should use the system again for various reasons. Of course, there are still school, schools that use the system such as the North Penn School District. I think we should use this system and see how well students can benefit from it, <coughs> especially because high school is very important and for college too, we all want to have the great, best grades possible. For this reason, the ranking system should be used so that students such as you and I can make sure we're on track and doing our best to enroll into the college that we really want to go get in. Because this society is very competitive, colleges are looking for students that are doing at least one more than another applicant and choosing those that have the potential to do well. So by using this system, I, I myself can be motivated to do well in school as well as making sure that I'm not falling behind and keeping myself busy so that it will benefit, my, benefit me when I apply for college. Thus, the usage of this system will be a beneficial way for all of us to study better and provide the opportunities to show students how they are doing well in school. To begin with, I think we should use this system because it is a beneficial way for us to be able to student study better. Regarding to the statement, this system will put peer pressure among students for various reasons. Within those reasons, because the amount of peer pressure they will receive, they will want they will want to stay on top. As said, students will be learning new study skills and will want to study better so that they could bring up their grades. Therefore, by using the system in our school district, it can convince students to want to study more for their own benefits. However, this can lead to too much pressure. Of course, if this happens, students can lose focus even if they try to work harder. In other schools, due to too much pressure, there are many lives that were taken. When this pr pressure reaches a certain level, students can take no longer take any more and may have some unpleasant risk that could have already occurred. For instance, 
Education in South Korea is very crucial for success, and the competition is very fierce. There, there, in Korea, students study all day long, and they come home at like 11 or a little past midnight. I remember the last time I visited Korea. It was about two years ago. It was late at night, a little past midnight, and I saw my cousin coming home. When I asked him why he was late, his reply was, I always come home at this time. Today, I came, tonight, I came home earlier than usual. I was at the library, getting tutored, and helping my friends study. This shows how intense and serious people in Korea take education. According to Asia Times Online, they explain that it is unclear as to how many students end their lives because of education-related stress. The National Statistical Office indicates that more than a thousand students between the ages of 10 and 19 committed suicide within the past five years, and it has increased more than three times. Due to too much pressure or the possibility of getting bad grades, now I'm not saying that all peer pressure will lead to students committing suicide, but it is one of the possibilities that can occur. Many students can have low self-esteem due to the system. If that happens, this is something that students must be careful about and must avoid getting themselves in any risk of danger. However, if that is the case, we must help them go through the process and fight over the pressure they are receiving. It is the only way for them to learn and will help them with further pressure they might be receiving in the future. Another reason why we should use this student ranking system is because it creates competition among another. In a lightly manner, this will keep students motivated. They will want to do well so that they can be in the same classes with their friends, thus students will be motivated and have a sense of why they want to study better. For example, they will enjoy learning with their friends by creating study groups and help each other by sharing notes. In other schools, I think schools should encourage and recognize academic excellence in a spirit of cooperation, not intense competition that sets students against one another. The competitiveness among students can influence them to concentrate harder than before. According to Edutopia from the Judith from the George Lucas Education Foundation, 50%, 57% of the researchers have said that competition is not harmful to students. 30%, 28% have said in some degree they were both beneficial and not. 13% said they were harm, harmful, and 2% said other. This shows that competition is actually not that bad. It is one way to encourage students to get motivated in doing schoolwork. On the other hand, too much competition between students can create bad relationships. That is, creating bad rela relationships can cause 